Hello! I'm going to film at the beach. I still need to make my video for today. A short one. Yeah, I'm very late. Too late! What are you doing? Huh? I am my own bank. <laughs> Sunbathing. You look so beautiful in the sun. On your face. <laughs> See you in a minute. Be your own bank, guys. Machina Trader. Man. There she goes. I think they did groceries. But I will check later because if they didn't do groceries, she just referred to shopping as working. And then you know exactly what the problem is when Bitcoin goes up and you live the Bitcoin family life. Because then they think they can spend more and more <laughs> to stuff that we really don't need. The sun is going down. I'm going to make a very short video. I can't say bomb dia anymore because it's almost evening. The sun is really bright. You will love the view, I think, on the beach now. I need to watch out where I walk. In today's video, very short, talking about the news that I read this morning. Also sharing a bam bam chart and of course looking at the Bitcoin price. And why today is late? Because I already did an interview this morning, also this afternoon again, and this evening again with Digital Assets, Rob. So I, uh, I did a lot of work today. But we'll talk about all of this in the video. Enjoy the complete video while you enjoy this amazing view of the sun going down above this beautiful city of Lagos, Portugal. Bitcoin is now hovering around 35,200 ish US dollar. Yesterday we almost crashed to zero, <laughs> to 30k. But people thought again that we would crash to zero. So we crashed from 40k to 30k. That's like a 30% pullback, which is completely normal after such a huge run. It is not even 30%, I know it's like 27% or something like this, but this is normal. This is a healthy pullback. And if you would have watched our channel, you would have seen my emergency video where I told you guys, in 2017 we saw a lot of bull runs and pullbacks and bull runs and pullbacks. But in the end, we ended up at 20k after starting in January at 800 US dollar. This year, we started a little bit higher in January. And yes, we will end it, I think, this year in December, a little bit higher as well. Watch today's video I made with Digital Asset News, Rob, because he is sharing a chart that I shared with you before, but that you will really like about Bitcoin again. In my opinion, you need to learn to not freak out, but zoom out. Don't get stressed about these Bitcoin prices. We will see ups and downs. and But if we will repeat history, then we will see a much higher all-time high this year, around July till December. But please watch yesterday's video or the video of the day before if you want to understand why I think this because I very very clearly explained in those videos how I think the Bitcoin price will evolve in the next couple of months. Let's take a look at the BAM chart. How did we trade yesterday? This one. BAM! On the BAM chart you can say you can see we traded with 200 US dollar with a leverage of 10 on Bybit and yes sometimes I use a trailing stop loss and that's why I sometimes prefer Bybit over PrimeXBT or Dudex or even Kraken. I trade on all of them but if you want to have cool sign up bonuses sign up using referral links Bybit $90, Dudex $300 US dollar, and on PrimeXBT 50% of your deposit as a bonus. So use the referral links because we use the revenue from those referral links to help poor people all over the world. The first trade guys we did was a long. It was a 60% profit long. So the $200 turned into 325 US dollar. The second trade guys was a short, a short with 125% profit, which turned to 325 US dollar into 700 US dollar. And the third trade guys was again a long with a 60% profit, 
taking us all the way up to 1100 US dollar. This third trade, we had a stop loss of around 230 US dollar. So we were kicked out by this wick and that is why we only reached 1100 US dollar. We could have had more profit if I would have stayed at the charts and didn't use the trailing stop loss. But then again, I'm very happy that I used the trailing stop loss because that made me have profit. In this short trade, guys, there was a moment I was doubting to leave the short, but you can see that in the margin call 2.02, .02, that there is a lot of sand and the sand made me stay in the short. That sand told me, don't stop this short trade. It will fall deeper and deeper, so stay in the short. Down below in the Didi Bam Bam indicator, you can see those arrows, they are indicated why I went long or short. The blue line crossed the white midline or the red line or the green line. You can see those arrows at the point that we took the longs and the shorts. So yes, again, we waited for a confirmation. We didn't just go long or short. When the flag appeared, we waited for a candle to close below the yellow stepping line. We waited for the DD Bam Bam indicator to cross one of those three lines. We waited on the margin call from the sand to go into the green or from the green to go into the sand. And that is the moment we take the short and the long. So that is the moment we created profit. While I walk to this beautiful sun, I don't think I can film it with the DJI. I don't think you can see it because my head is getting dark, but you can see how beautiful it is. I can turn the screen, check, flip, look. It is going down at the moment. It's amazing to be here in Lagos, Porgo, where we have the sea and then this beautiful view of the sun. Let's talk a little bit about the news I read this morning. And the first thing I read was about a bank. And it made me realize that these banks are like two-faced monsters. Because on the one hand, they say, ah, oh, we don't want Bitcoin and Bitcoin is illegal. Some banks now love Bitcoin, but there are still, still some banks like Morgan Stanley and all those things. No, nah, Bitcoin is trash, don't do it. But on the other side, they are investing in micro strategy and they topped up an investment. So now they own 10.9% of micro strategy to be invested more in Bitcoin. So on the one hand, they are saying, nah, Bitcoin is not good. On the other hand, they are buying up companies that are invested heavily in Bitcoin. So they still are investing in Bitcoin. That's why I always say, don't believe everything that they say in the news. Banks often have two faces. And one face is telling you, ah, it's bad. Then they start to accumulate Bitcoin themselves. And then they buy a company that owes a shitload of Bitcoins. So they have more exposure to Bitcoin as a bank without needing to admit that they do like Bitcoin, in my opinion. Comment down below how you feel and think about this. Do you agree with me that these banks always have two faces and they need to start to make up their mind? And the banks that won't make up their mind to accept the evolution of money, which is called cryptocurrencies, those banks will go bankrupt, <laughs> in my opinion. But let me know what you think. Do you think it will be this extreme or not? Bam! And what happened yesterday is still like mysterious. Why did we still see this huge crash in the Bitcoin price? Many ask me, Didi, what is the reason for this huge crash yesterday? Um, it is difficult to explain, but I feel that there was something happening. I think that the miners and the exchanges, that they kind of agreed that the run was going too fast, that there was too much profit being made by the longs and that they need to kill the longs. To, to break all those profits that people were making. I don't know for sure if this happened, but mostly these kinds of games are played when there is a shitload of money on the table. And I think that that made all these huge institutional investors that are now investing into Bitcoin by using these bots that are going to buy, buy Bitcoin, tiny bits by bit by bit. They all, they all did already admit that they are buying Bitcoins by bots. And I think that these just shut off the bots. They were like, okay, you want to screw us with the price, we turn off the bots. And that what that's made the crash even bigger to 30K and then stay around 30K. And then they gave the opportunity to the retail people to start to invest in Bitcoin. And we can see that the real retail people did invest in Bitcoin because yesterday was the day that PayPal had the most revenue in Bitcoin ever. They sold 240 million US dollar worth of Bitcoin in 24 hours. And now I think these institutional investors will turn on the bots again and drive the price higher and higher and higher again. This 
could be the game that was being played yesterday. Please remember, Bitcoin is a volatile world and it's a game that is being played by institutional investors, real retail investors and huge kick ass wills. So yes, they play around with the price just like in any other asset in the world. Just like they play with the price in gold, with stocks and everything else in the world, they are now playing big boys games with Bitcoin as well. So never freak out, only zoom out because you know one thing for sure, is huge institutional investors and banks, they are not playing this game to lose money. They are playing this game to win money. So in my opinion, they are going to push this bull run all the way up to a 100k Bitcoin price in this year, just like the stock to flow model is predicting already for many years. So don't freak out, but always zoom out. Bam! And where do I know this from? Because if you read the newest article, the sun is going down, I need to be quick now, of Bakht, and Bakht is also a huge player in the market when it comes to Bitcoin. They at the moment manage like a $1.6 trillion market, and they predict in the next five years, 2025, their market will be 5.2 trillion US dollar big. At the moment of the 1.6 trillion US dollar, around 560 billion US dollar is invested into cryptocurrencies. And they now predict that in 2025, they will have a huge market of 5.1 trillion US dollar. And around that time, 2025, they will have a total market cap invested in cryptocurrencies of 3.1 trillion US dollar. This is the plan. This is what they presented in their presentation, like you can see in this chart. Bam! They are going to expand from 560 billion US dollar into a market of 3 trillion US dollar, and that will increase a huge Bitcoin price. These big players are in the game to make profits. They are going to drive the prices up to insane heights that we can even not dream of at the moment. I think in the far future, 100k will be multiplied by 10 again and we will take the price even to a million US dollar per Bitcoin so that one set is one cent. That was everything for today, guys. I need to keep the video short because the sun is going down. I, mean, I walked a little bit farther than I thought. <laughs> I need to walk all the way back now and then start to edit this video and push it online. And while editing and while pushing it online, maybe you have the time to watch last episode of Gokstein Media, the Bitcoin family by Gokstein Media. There's episode seven, it's already out. A lot of you guys missed it. It's a really cool episode where we show you a little bit how Turkey, how beautiful Turkey is, and of course also how we lived last week. This week, another kick-ass episode this Friday. So make sure you don't miss the Gokstein Media episodes because in those episodes, we share our life without charts, without news, just how we really live. Also guys, I did a very cool interview with Peter McCormack a couple of weeks ago and that interview went live today. It is a one hour show, a one hour podcast. Peter was able to ask me a lot of questions that many other people didn't ask me yet before. So it's a really cool interview with a lot of information that I didn't share yet before in other interviews. So make sure you listen to the Peter McCormick podcast because there's a lot of cool information in that one that might change your opinion about becoming a digital nomad. And yes, also today I recorded a video with Digital Asset News with Rob uh, about freaking out. So watch that episode as well so you understand my mindset when it comes to the Bitcoin charts. That was really everything for today, guys. If you like today's show, please give the show a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. Always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye. While the sun is going down, guys, and it is almost gone.